Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Daniel. I'm Dad. I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Autumn. Hi, I'm Ralph. And we're some of the veggie boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Woo, it's warm in here. It's a greenhouse, Andrew. What do you expect? Greenhouse number four is commonly used for vegetables. And as you can see, this greenhouse is filling up very nicely. For much of the day, the boys have been working on transplanting peppers. And just today, they've transplanted six different varieties. And this over here is the seventh variety that they're working on. These peppers we're gonna be planting are Italian sweet peppers. We call them Italian L. Now, these peppers, usually we plant them when they're a little smaller. However, we've been so busy here on the farm, that they got away from us. But as you can see, none of these plants are root bound. So that's really, really good. And that's gonna go really well when we're planting them. As I'm transplanting, you're gonna see I'm actually putting some of these peppers a little deeper than we normally would. That's just because they have a nice size to them. Normally we don't want them as deep, but these peppers already have such a great start that they will do just fine. Uh, the soil's not too wet. We won't have to worry about the plants rotting out or anything like that, because this soil is super aerated. That machine does a really good job for us. We've been transplanting more and more here on the farm. It's just getting to that point in the year. We need to get our plants ready for sales. We have people that come from all over to pick up plants. That's why some of them may look a little different. We have these single pots. We sell these for a dollar a piece, but these little packs, we'll sell the packs for $2.99 and a whole flat for $22. You will see it's amazing how long it takes to fill up these greenhouses and how quickly people can empty them. They got all the peppers finished, and now we're moving on to some curly parsley. Nope. Now how did you end up down here with us? Because we're all done up there. Because you guys are slow and you need help down here. So I'm here to help you guys. That's all we needed was for Autumn to save the day. That's all we needed. Now in our last video we were working on some flat leaf parsley. And as you can see we have more. I don't know if we're going to need all of this. But since our last video it's already grown quite a bit. So we're going to do a few more trays of the flat leaf parsley. Just because we sell so much of it. I got sent on a special mission. Here you go, here's your chair. Thank you, Andrew. Grammy got done with some work she was doing, so she came down to help us plant as well. How come we don't usually get this much help? I think they're checking up on us. You guys can see from the last time we were in this greenhouse, we have a lot more in here. These were an early planting of peppers that we did for ourselves to plant out in the field. And as you can see, our later plantings are starting to come up. As we go down through, this greenhouse will be filled with tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, and things like it that we will be planting out in the field. Now this side of the greenhouse is mainly used for sales. We will have a lot of sale peppers on this side, and we'll have sale tomatoes. A lot of these six inch pots are gonna be moved. As you can see, the tomatoes are growing phenomenally. We're gonna move them to another greenhouse and then stake them, and then our customers will be able to pick up a larger tomato. And then we've already discussed some of our pepper varieties that we have for sale. There's just a lot of plants in this greenhouse. Got water down my sleeve. We're here in our number five greenhouse, just trying to move some hanging baskets around. Uh, as the hanging baskets get older, as they start to grow larger, they actually grow together and they get like interlocked. 
And that can become a big problem later on because if the hanging baskets get all interlocked and grown together, when we try and separate them, it's gonna really destroy the plants. And for every hanging basket that you destroy, that's money lost, that's time lost, and we definitely don't want that. I got them. I really start to love the greenhouses this time of the year. As you guys can see, a lot of flowers are starting to bloom. We're getting closer and closer to one of the busiest days of the year for us, Mother's Day. You guys can see how full it is in here. The weekend after Mother's Day looks like a bomb went off. There's like plants missing everywhere. It's amazing. So yesterday we went and picked up this calf here and now Daniel went and picked up that little white face that was in the pen with it. The white face, it's a little crazy. We're not gonna lie, it's a little crazy. We're just gonna let them calm down for now. I just came up to the peas. I wanted to see if any of them were coming up. I see some just getting ready to sprout. I dug one up, but they're not quite there yet. And that is very okay. It has been a little on the colder side the last couple of days. It's been cloudy, we haven't had the sunlight. And when you have conditions like that, things aren't too quick to pop out of the ground, but they will be out shortly. It's dark. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Hey Ralph, did the calf get on the truck okay? Nope, we carried it on. Last video, Daniel was also working on cleaning manure out of here. And as you can see, he's got it all cleaned out. And because the calves have actually gotten a lot larger here in the back, we've moved our calf pen over even further. So now the calves have a smaller area, but the other cows have much more feeder space. You never really start thinking about feeder space until you don't have enough feeder space, then you have to find feeder space. <laughs> it's just one big puppy dog. We've had a lot of people stop by the farm market picking out pansies and even some vegetable plants. We've already gone through a couple trays of broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and we're even on to a new planting of lettuce. We normally have a hose that hooks up here and over there, but since it's so early in the year, we haven't gotten them hooked up yet. And the plants up here need some water and I can't water them, so. Bring out the randy dandy watering can. <laughs> Something that always got me growing up. Uh, these leaves are hydrophobic, so the water just beads right off of them. That was the coolest thing to me growing up. I, I don't know what it was. No, I'm just giving my wife stress. He's just giving me an update as to what happened today. I didn't know I had a date tonight. I thought the date was on Friday. Now it's Thursday. It's every day. Oh, here we go. A couple mountain fresh tomatoes poking out of the soil. That's what we like to see. mowing the grass for the first time this year uh yeah it's time to get started say you were picking on me no i was not picking on you at the yeah. beginning of every one of our videos you say i'm dad but what have you been saying for the last month that i haven't been putting in the videos i'm i'm grandpa see this is the best part when we close up the farm market then we shop in our own farm market hello sir are you down here flower shopping no i'm walking with my wife i'm stuck in the store all day i want to see the flowers Oh, hey, hey, there's my beautiful one. What are we having for dinner tonight? We are having beef stroganoff and green beans. As you guys already know, me and my brothers, we are the sixth generation that were born on this farm. And we have a very, very large family. Now, if you were able to watch the live that we just had recently, you were able to see a very special announcement that we have. But if you weren't able to see the live, Lauren and I are going to be having a baby. Yes, I know the seventh generation is going to be born here on this farm. Now, some of you may have a question as to what we're having. Uh, the interesting thing is 
There has not been a little girl born in our family for over 50 years. That has changed. Yeah, we will be having a little girl and her name is going to be Callie Rose. So <laughs> we're very excited. And the thing is, some of you guys ask where your seat at the table is. Uh, there's no room, okay? I'm sorry, we can't let you. Cause the baby's going right here. <laughs> no room at the table anymore. All right guys, we just sat down for dinner. This is what we're having. So this means this is where we're gonna end the video today. I wanna thank everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye. I'm Grandpa. <laughs>